Have you ever wondered if the air around you is healthy, especially if you like to run outside like I do? Today I'm going to show you how you can analyze the air around you using an open IoT platform called ThingsView. We're going to learn how to create the monitoring system you currently see on the screen. The data we're going to examine is being collected by purple air sensors located at the top of MathWorks headquarters. We're going to learn how to acquire data, analyze it, and then create different visualizations all within ThingsView. Let's quickly see how to create a free ThingSpeak account if you don't already have one. You can create a free account or use your existing MathWorks account. Let's go back to the ThingSpeak website and learn how to create our own channel. Make sure you're logged into ThingSpeak when you click on the channels button. You will see all the channels you have created on this page. Let's click on the new channel button so that we can enter the appropriate channel information such as the channel and field names. We're going to assign field 1 to be AQI, which stands for Air Quality Index, which we will calculate in the next few steps. Once all the necessary information has been entered, scroll down and press Save Channel. Click on the highlighted tab for Read and Write API keys, which will be useful later. Since we're not gathering any data right now, you can remove this empty default plot. Let's create our first visualization. For this plot, we're going to use a template provided to us for a 2D line plot. Click Create. A window with automated code will pop up. Change the highlighted lines with channel information. Let's call the functions I built which will analyze and plot the particulate data. We're going to be using an inbuilt function that will write the air quality index back to my personal channel. Now that I have written my functions, let's quickly review and see what they really do. We are first going to be using a moving median filter to smooth out the collected data in case it may have some noise. This function is used the same way as you would in desktop MATLAB. Let's take a look at our plot function which has several input parameters. You can use familiar MATLAB syntax and in this case we have plotted the raw data as well as the smoothed out data. I'm going to use several commands to format my plot and make it look pretty. We are now going to call our other function that will calculate a running average of the last 24 hours worth of collected data. This will be used to calculate the air quality index, which will indicate if the air is healthy or not for the 2.5 micron particles that are emitted by cars using the US government EPA standards. Let's scroll down to save and run this code. You can see the results of your code in the code output window at the bottom. As you can see, the X and Y axes are labeled correctly with the local time. Now let's go back and see how this would look on our channel that we just created. Select the AQI test channel that we recently created. The ThingSpeak channel will take a few moments to refresh and when it's done, we will see the same plot we saw a few moments back. Now we're going to use a ThingSpeak widget to create a gauge for our air quality index. As you can see, the widget is customizable as there are several options present. Let's see what a fully completed gauge looks like. We have changed the name, added colors with ranges, and are reading field one that has the air quality index data being written to it. Now let's create a default line plot for field one. These series of steps will create a line plot for the data in field one. In our case, it will tell us what has the air quality index been for the last several days. This is also customizable. In this case, we're just gonna change the name and call it historical AQI and press save. Let's create the last visualization. This time, we're going to write our own code from scratch. In this code, we're going to read the air quality index from the air quality index test channel that we created previously and create a patch object. This patch object will change color and the text based on the air quality index reading. Let's save and run to see what happens. Since the air quality index is low, the air is healthy and is good. Let's go back to our channel and refresh. As you can see, we have all the four components we saw at the beginning of the video. We can rename this last visualization to be air health. The changes are now live on our channel. You can use the techniques 
learned in this how-to video for your own data or other publicly available channels. For more information, other useful resources, and the code used in this example, visit the links in the description below.